welcome and thanks for joining me for coffee it's been well a little bit disappointing really it's uh you think as the rat would uh, move forward you'd get a little bit more action but it's been uh, really quiet uh, dawn wasn't as quite as stunning as the last two mornings um, uh, a bit overcast i thought so there's a half moon it might be quite nice you just saw a little bit of glimmer of uh, the sun and i thought the clouds were going to catch but that didn't happen so i followed uh, uh, the sound of a roaring stag and managed to get just a little bit of footage When I think back to the last couple of ruts that I've been to here on this particular heath, you commonly see a much larger group than this, but this morning, just a single stag with a couple of prickets and a few hinds, which he still seems to be trying to protect. He's constantly on the lookout, isn't he? He doesn't seem to rest for a second, really. And that's pretty much it for all the stags. This time of year, they eat very little and sleep very little. This time in the morning when you can see his breath in the air. and saw some some fallow deer bucks i'm not quite certain whether it's uh, the one we saw with the barbed wire yet obviously there's quite a, quite a few white ones here so uncertain whether it's the one once home i managed to compare this shot with one that i caught a couple of weeks ago with the barbed wire and to my estimation i think it is the same buck so it looks as if he managed to shed that barbed wire uh, presumably without any assistance as that mature buck melted away into the woods I then came across a smaller brother I wonder how long it would take for him to have matching antlers. But apart from that, I've heard some bellows, but it's, it's so different than last week. So something's, something's happened, whether this warm weather of October, I, I guess, can't be helping. Maybe the uh, hinds have not come into Eastwis yet. Whether the dominant stag that we saw last week, whether somehow he's lost his position in the sort of pecking order. I, uh, well, he may have had some fights uh, since the last time um, we've been and his retreated to some safe haven 
somewhere, I guess, could be that. Food, there's a lot of things. Maybe pressure from uh, when we came out on Saturday. There were more people than I'm used to seeing anyway here. So whether it's pressure from people wanting to see the deer. So uh, whether I can see anything after lunch and towards the towards the evening. Uh, we're not out tomorrow, Denise and myself, we're not out tomorrow, so it's just going to be today. At this time of year, you can just follow the sounds and some of the roars are quite impressive. I came across this harem of does and it wasn't long before the stag showed himself. constantly circles that prized harem of his and uh, I like the way he's picked up that bit of adornment there. And what an impressive bellow. The wind picked up quite a bit in the afternoon. But within these woods, it appeared as if his bellow was even louder. just love watching them peeking through these trees it seemed to be a, a window into another world eventually they started to move off to the right and then I spotted them three or four stags working their way in from the left As they moved across from the right, they came closer, I kept very still, observed them and felt it was time to leave. So I moved back slowly and left him to his roars. I 
noticed that the accompanying stags had moved off. So I decided to follow at a distance until they came out onto this open heath. Then from the tree line, I'd observed their behaviour. It appears as if there's no lines here. All stags, a few prickets, having a, a little practice fight. He's really aggressively thrashing on that heath, isn't he? But when he lifts his head, my goodness me, what a profile. I followed the stags across the field and one of the last to spend a little time self-anointing. Presumably, he still feels confident that he can find some hinds in Easter's. As I left in the late afternoon, had one last look back at the heath and reflected on the day. The disappointment of the morning was tempered by the sight and the sound of that stag roaring in the trees. It raises the hope for next week, whether the dominant stag is using the experience, playing the long game, realising that the hinds are not quite ready yet, or whether the crown has been passed on I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And as always, it'd be nice for you to join me in the next one.